Hello campers, yes it's been a while. We're back, at least for now. Where are we, what are we doing? We are now, Ooh, where are we? Where are we? Check this. New van, same crew. More on that disaster later. This is what it's all about. Oh yes. Barry. Barry's been keeping guard. He's facing the wrong way. Hello, Ali, buddy. My buddy, Ali. Ooh. Ooh. Bum rub. Bum rub. So we found our location for night number two on our way up to the north coast 500 north of Scotland. So we are in Scotland now. We're, uh, I'm not quite sure where we are. We're not, we turned right on the way to Edinburgh and we're somewhere near the coast. I'll probably put a link or something or some location thing here somewhere if I can be bothered. But uh, what an amazing spot. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. You're not looking very happy, Frank. I think your mum's pretty happy. And a glass of wine. Oh, Emma! Mind the jelly bean. Mind the big jelly bean. Oh, it knocked her over. So we were a bit worried about storage being away for two weeks uh, in the van, which is the longest we've been away, and also having rubbish bags if we're stopping at places where there's no bins. So um, Assistant Navigation Officer Emma found these Kelty trash packs. We've actually got two, but we've only used put one out and we actually you don't actually need a bike rack for it originally I was gonna have the bike rack down and sit the pack on the bike rack now I'm just really using the bike rack as a way of keeping it off the back of the van but actually the back of it's designed you can't remember to see that but it's designed to be able to sit on the van without damaging paintwork and actually on this van anyway it would sit on the the window so I wouldn't even need the bike rack so I'll probably sell that since we don't use bikes and it's it's huge at the moment, fully waterproof, sun resistant, everything else. At the moment, all we've got in here, we've got some welly boots um, and my, my walking boots. But actually the idea is that you put your rubbish in here. So we will be putting that black bin bag in there, doing it up until we find somewhere to dispose. It's actually pretty big. Now the only thing is, I'm not 100% confident yet about these. Well, bearing in mind there's two of these at the at the back. If you can see these uh, here. There's two at the top which is holding the weight. And on a motorway, I mean, we've driven, the, we're now in halfway up in Scotland and these have been on the back the whole way and these have been fine. But it's like, are they gonna pop open on the motorway? So we've actually doubled up with there's a there's a carry handle here so we've just got a, a, a backup a backup bungee on there so that if if one of these goes it will 
at least. It's not going to go anywhere. A um, bit of an experiment and I will put a link in the description below. Kelty Trash Pack. No need for mosquito repellent, we're just going to use the van to kill them all. Far easier and more efficient. Anyway, night three. Where are we? Well, there's some trees. Hmm, I can hear some water. Oh, Loch Rannoch. Our own private beach. Because we've been doing so much driving just to save time and because we're tired. So we had some of these um, these dehydrated foods to to use um, if we wanted to eat quickly. So um, apparently this got really good reviews and the assistant navigation officer um, bought them based on the reviews. Um, uh, you can eat it out of the packet. I've eaten about half of it. That's what it looks like. I don't know, maybe I didn't put enough water in it or something. Um, it's about the consistency of... Uh, you can make your own mind up of that. That'll probably stick to my fork. And um, um, I'm not eating any more. I've eaten about half of it. It's like, oh. Not a breath of wind. Welcome to Scotland. The weather's turned. We're actually on a campsite tonight. Just so that we can use some showers. And we will be rendezvousing with an extended convoy shortly. Lost track of what night we're on. But this is, it's Sunday, yeah, but I don't know what number day that is. Uh, Lath Latheran Wheel Harbour. Beautiful. And we are joined by an extended crew member rented from there. There he is. <laughs> he won't want to appear on video. problem with letting the dog off lead, he immediately managed to find a dead sheep and roll all over it. Nice. Frank, where are you going? Good boy, yes. What a transformation in the weather. Oh, there's Hunter. Is that your friend who's been very brave? Yes. No friend of mine. <laughs> Fry some chicken until browned. Add 30 ml of soy sauce. Mix and heat for three minutes. Chop some veg, some garlic. What's up, Rich? Can you not interrupt my cooking recipe, please? <laughs> oh, and the garlic. Ginger, I mean. Chuck it in. Uh, and probably a bigger pan would have been a better idea. Some hoisin sauce. Oh. Oh. 
assistant navigation officer, also assistant chef, um, turned the top in order for me to go. 20 grams, yep, that feels about 20 grams lighter. Ooh, is it? A little bit more for luck. Now, I thought I had some plain rice with me. All I've got is this spicy Mexican rice. So we're having spicy Mexican rice with Chinese stir fry. This is going to go in the Ridge Monkey. The Ridge Monkey is going to heat it through on the hob. Top tip, if you are going to cook in a Ridge Monkey and you're going to use the tossing technique and there's something, this is just rice, it's fine. But if there's liquids in there or fat, um, I know from experience, if you toss it, it's not sealed and it will go flying. So if you're going to toss it, put it out the window toss it come back in and there you go that's just rice so that's fine <laughs> are we ready to compare meals well there's there's ours okay, just... right let's see what extended crew member massive has let's see what extended crew member oh my god oh, wow okay wow. all right okay now that that's showing off wow <laughs> is that mackerel cold though it is. Yeah, so basically you've taken that out of the packet, laid it there, you've taken that no, out of the packet, laid it there. The you have done the potatoes. Yeah, oh, I, I just have to <laughs> yeah I mean, the potatoes, just to make sure. the potatoes are fairly impressive. I mean, just the oh, presentation though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. Hang on, and his potatoes are very tasty. I mean, it would be nice if the mackerel would be in the pot, don't mind. Mm. Enjoy this. Um, Enjoy us, I'll get Ollie tomorrow. Here, Ollie, buddy. Ollie! This is what life is about. Frank. The past. We good boy. How amazing is this? And we're going to wake up to this tomorrow morning. We're up there on the hill. Get her, Frank. Where's Mummy? Come, Mummy. Ooh. Lick, lick, lick. Come on. Frank. Lick, Mummy. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not me. Frank. Frank. <laughs> hey. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not interested in me at all. Come on. Yeah. Amazing, amazing spot to wake up with nothing around except extended crewman Dicky down there somewhere. Having a little just an overview. And assistant navigation officer down by the bridge. And this must be the most beautiful spot that I've ever sat to go for a poop. So yet another, yet another beautiful morning. Uh, weather's been a bit intermittent here, but everybody's cosy, everybody's happy. Oh no, oh no. One of the dogs, one of the dogs has done something in the night. Oh no, it's not, it's crew member, Peter Pooper, a new crew member. Say hi, Peter. So here's the problem, and I understand why locals get really grumpy with camper manners. So this is an absolutely incredible spot. Uh, there's been rubbish left here. There's toilet paper just up there where somebody's come and had a poo. There's a load of tent pegs dumped here. So I, I do get it why locals get annoyed and frustrated. Um, and I do get why um, the locals along the north coast here uh, didn't support the implementation of the NC500 route. So um, yeah we're actually gonna pick pick up some of the rubbish here before we go, put it up in bag and take it with us. So uh, I know I know we tend to talk about leaving no trace 
uh, I would suggest actually that should be changed to leave a site cleaner than you found it and then uh, hopefully we'll win, the, win back the support of locals for camper vanners and motorhomers of course so they're a bit, bit dirtier than us. So, hi, extended crewman Dicky. Yo. Look at, can you turn and look that way? Stay this way. Right, stay there. No, keep <laughs> looking that way. Be... Morning, so today's top tip. Oh, hello, Ollie Bully. Today's top tip is a partial deployment of the bed or recovery of the seats. So, what we've discovered actually. It's quite cool to just partially put the seats back where they belong, Ollie, away from the sausages, which means you end up with a reclining seat. It's not clipped, but it just rests back on the mattress, which means the dogs can go up on the back on top of the mattress and sleeping bag, and I can still cook, or I've got a reclining seat and the wardrobe is still pretty accessible yeah i'm unwashed at the moment so they look a bit of a state ollie get out of the bin hey available from all good retailers but you don't get a beautiful face like this just anywhere this is irish <laughs> it's gorge oh you didn't need to see that it's gorge Place to die. Ullapool. Got flagging campers and very keen campers. We're going up to that cliff. And down there uh, is our campsite. The, uh, breakfast cereal cart. Frank enough. We're at this beautiful campsite, so we can use facilities overlooking beautiful water. Uh, I think we're at, where are we? We're at Ullapool. Um, pretty much everyone here is a caravan, a motorhome, or a camper van. Pretty much. And um, I, I, I beg his belief, you go into the toilets here. And people have gone into cu multiple cubicles, people have gone in, they've had a poo, and they just haven't bothered to flush the toilet. I mean, what is the matter with people? Oh dear. What can the matter be? All part of the adventure. <laughs> oh, please get your shirt off for this. Uh, 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 uh. It's going. Has it gone? It's going. Yet more gorgeousness. I mean, how much gorgeousness can you film? Oh, even more gorgeousness. Oh, gorge. That is gorge. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, Ooh. right, lost track of the days. Um, we're heading south, we're at Apple Cross, uh, campsite Apple Cross, um, being recommended to us. Um, we're probably gonna wild it tomorrow, so we thought we'd do a campsite tonight. Very nice, they've got coffee. 
the wind is very very light so I'm hoping that will keep the midges away but the midges do seem to be about so we have deployed our mosquito net oh I haven't deployed it properly but the idea is actually you can actually, you can actually shut the door apparently with this on can't quite get it to oh there we go go around there have I um, and it's got a zipper and that will keep the midges out so this is our campsite for the night we've just seen a pine martin over there somewhere so I'm going to try and catch some footage of it um, but that's the views from the campsite at Apple Cross I think we're at quite a few callies and transport conversions on the site plenty of space there's Hunter there's Frank Wow a roundhouse this is something to do with the campsite but well that's cool how cool is that I wouldn't have a fire in here mind you wrong way dead end this way Ollie this way let's go come on they're coming so NC 500 update news flash so our companions in the hire van, um, they had a punctured tyre. The we went to put, we found the spare wheel underneath. The spare wheel was actually a different size to the main wheel in the overall diameter. Um, but we thought we'd put, try and put it on anyway. But whilst trying to take the old wheel off or the punctured tyre wheel off. Um, the wrench spanner which looked like a cheap wrench spanner it actually sheared so we couldn't get the nuts off so they had to call out the people they hired it from who called out the um, the rescue services and uh, who turned up and said we're not putting that wheel on it's uh, not legal it's a different size we're gonna have to tow you to a garage and put a new tire on they then uh, went back to got towed to the garage after waiting for several hours and the garage then they're looking at it and they're saying there's been some dodgy work or something to do with the wheel and they're saying that they can't do it they're going to have to tow it back to Inverness um, on the back of a truck uh, which is where they hired it from so our companion's journey has come to an end unfortunately so it doesn't look like they're going to be meeting us tonight um, I think they're going to be sleeping in a car park somewhere in the van obviously they're pretty angry so mm, not good so watch this space <laughs> so a new update um, our, um, our uh, esteemed colleagues if that's the right word travelers um, they've called and, and apparently the carriage has suggested because the, the, basically it's over for them the, the, the van's being recovered to Inverness, but the garage has suggested the... That's them calling. Oh, hang on. So, here's the story. So, um, we have offered our esteemed travelling colleagues the offer of travelling back down the country with us on the proviso that they would need some bedding for upstairs if they did it. Um, it's going to be a bit chilly up there, so they'll need, they'll need bedding and pillows. So... We, we've put the offer back to them. We've also told them that we're not going to be on campsites. We're going to be wilding, wilding it. So they're going to need to either stop drinking two hours before bed or they're going to have to get out and pee in the middle of the night. Of course, we have other facilities ourselves. Um, and all their baggage, we're going to store it. We've actually got a second one of those trash sacks, um, which we're going to attach to the back of the, on the bike rack and they can put all their stuff in there. So we've made the offer to them. Um... Let's see what they come back with. They'll either say yes or no. What do you think, boys? So we're still waiting for a call back on their decision as to whether or not there's going to be four adults and two dogs in a van travelling from near the end of the NC500 all the way down to Kent um, over three days staying in the van while camping so i don't know where this video is going i don't know anyway i've got a whiskey assistant navigation officer has got 
a wine. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm just contemplating this while I'm waiting for the verdicts of what's going to happen. What are the chances of the first time you hire a van, you end up with a puncture? The puncture is on a wheel that has apparently had a dodgy repair. The spare wheel apparently is a different size, so couldn't be put on. And the wrench breaks. It's just bizarre. The little, little lambs. <laughs> okay, it's now morning. The decision has been made. We are leaving them on the mountain to die to save ourselves, as any good and professional mountaineer should do. So yes, they decided that um, because they'd have to buy a uh, sleeping bag and pillows and because of toilet and the and storage and things like that, uh, they decided it's best just to uh, guest house it for the last few days of their holiday and then make their way back on the train that they're booked on. So it's farewell, fellow travellers. It was a pleasure journeying with you and we hope to see you again on the road soon. Emma. The assistant navigation officer is now going to attempt to drink her wine through her mosquito net as the sun goes down. Proceed. As an Irish person, nothing will stop us from a wee drink. All right, go on then. Good luck. Do they go through? <laughs> Does that work? Well, do you want to see the whole glass go down? Go on then. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. That shows yeah. you it's worked. It's okay. proof. Proof. And so we're now back in the Cairngorms on our descent back down to Kent. We've woken up to a beautiful still morning. I mean, what more can you want? Just packing up to move on, what a glorious day. Had a cold shower off the back of the van, which was torture. <laughs> this will be the location of our final night, just north of the Scottish border before our long drive home tomorrow. Um, one other van here. Uh, we did just try another location, but Emma got spooked by a guy with uh, in a wheelchair, electric wheelchair, with two Rottweilers um, that um, he then miraculously could walk as the Rottweilers <laughs> pulled him off. Off the chair. <laughs> So I had to, uh, yes, yeah, so I said, well, we got... wanted to savage the cows. Right, yes, yeah, so the, yeah, the Rottweilers were trying to savage the cows. So, um, yeah, so we've moved to this spot, which is a lot quieter and uh, safety in numbers, of course. So thank you for joining us on our NC500 journey. Um, so just before I sign off, so um, if anyone's thinking about doing the NC500, uh, just a word of caution. The locals, especially along the north coast, we found um, in pockets they weren't particularly welcoming. There was some public toilets with signs up saying no dirty campers and things like that, and some signs discouraging. Since we got back, we've also heard reports of vans having things thrown at them, tyres slashed. Uh, we didn't experience any problems, but uh, apparently the locals didn't want the NC500 route in the first place and apparently they had lots of problems during lockdown where all their villages were descended upon by hundreds of uh, camper vans and motorhomes when they, when they were trying to isolate. So there is a bit of anti-van sentiment. Um, that bing is my battery going. Um, so just beware. I mean, it, it is beautiful, but uh, it's a long way to get up there, especially for us from, from Kent. But uh, yeah, maybe there's other places where You'd be a bit more welcome, and I do get it. There's, there was, we saw rubbish 
we saw mess left um, there was a lot of motorhomes and camper vans up there so I, d I do kind of get it um, but uh, what can I say it was beautiful make your choice and there's lots of lots of other places you can go um, and actually right now I'm calling you from Dartmoor anyway I think this is ready You, me, by the sea I've never been wetter Talking in the mist and the rain About he, she, I just met her I told you it shouldn't be so You chapter whatever Another day, not sure what to say I'll write him a letter Bloody ducks But I like your dress And silver shoes But you'll still be robbed to me it's Nice to meet you It's nice to meet you Lucy I know things change, but even so We've messed up kids and culture It's no surprise if we twist their eyes It doesn't mean things are better but I like your dress And your silver shoes Me. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Lucy. I often wonder what we've done, even though it upsets her. We've messed up daughters and fucked up sons. I feel I need to protect her So kids please listen to careful words Some things are forever Your brains ain't grown so please take care You're still a springtime flower But I like your dress and your silver shoes But you'll still be robbed to me It's nice to greet you It's nice to meet you It's nice to know you It's a little tough though Cause you're pretty hot bro It's nice to meet you Lucy